I'm Cameron Middleton and here are your sports headlines. Auckland Talbot take on Championship Air United in the fourth round of the William Hill Scottish Cup this Saturday and Kenny Bogue had a look into what this club means to the community. Here we are at Beechwood Park, home of Scottish West Junior side, Auchinleck Talbot, who on Saturday will play the biggest match of their lives against Ayrshire rivals, Air United. Air United flying high at the top of the Championship and these guys will do a place for a battle in the fifth round of the Scottish Cup. We spoke to commercial manager Colin Chisholm on what this means to the club. Well, financially it's, it's a great bonus uh, for the club, uh, as was the Hearts game that I mentioned earlier. However, uh, it doesn't mean that we're going to go out and spend wally nilly. Uh, the money is there to benefit the club in the long run and benefit spectators and increase and improve their facilities. I mean, we've got a live broadcast on tonight with BBC Sports Sound, but uh, to, this is our training night, and Tommy made it clear, you know, we're training, and that's it. We also spoke to match day kit man Jamie Monaghan, and he believes his side, Auchinleck Talbot, can cause an upset. You can't help but feel it's the it's going to be the biggest game that we've ever taken part in. Yes, you look at the Hearts game, and it was a special occasion, and we came very close that day to uh, achieving a memorable result. But you look at this game, and there's there's more potential there for us to get through it. On Saturday, this ground will see three thousand fans watch a local Ayrshire derby. Will there be a giant killing? Kenny Bogue, Beechwood Park, UWS4. After bowing out the first round of the Australian Open, tennis experts and fans are wondering what lies ahead for Scotland's Andy Murray. Angus Hyde has more. Following Sir Andy Murray's announcement of his potential retirement, we travelled down to Presswick Tennis Centre, where he competed as a junior, to get the reaction from the club's players. Um, I guess it's surprising in a way that there's one that he's probably not going to be able to come back to, that always gets you, but um, I think that surprised me a little bit, but when you think of the way he plays and how much that takes out of his body, um, in a way I'm not really surprised because he does play a really physical brand of tennis. Murray's success in the court has influenced thousands of people across the UK, especially in Scotland, to get involved in the sport at local level. In the tennis centre here at Prestwick, the number of children who come because of Andy Murray, they all want to be Andy Murray, um, and he's a good role model as well. But inspiration-wise, he's inspired everybody. You know, from Dunblane all the way up through tennis to the elite level, and then Grand Slam winners, um, Davis Cup, um, uh, and also two Olympic medals, one where he beat Federer at Wimbledon, uh, which was an amazing achievement. His performances have secured his place in history among Scotland's sporting heroes. For me, uh, Andy Murray would have to be number one of all time Scottish sportsmen, or sports people, simply because I've only been playing tennis for three years, and I now realise the pressure that's on a tennis player as an individual to achieve. So for Andy Murray to stay at the top for as long as he had, win Grand Slams, for me, has to be number one. Following on from his defeat to Spanish player Batista Agut in the Australian Open, Murray is set to undergo hip surgery, and tennis fans across the world await to see what the future holds for the Scot. Angus Hyde, UWS News Air. Glasgow's Premier Ice Hockey team, the Glasgow clan, take on the Nottingham Panthers this Saturday evening. David Marshall has more. On Saturday night, the Glasgow clan will return to action here in the Brayhead Arena. Over 3,000 fans will fill the arena and it's another big game for Glasgow's Premier Ice Hockey team as they take on the Nottingham Panthers. We caught up with Zach Sullivan and head coach Pete Russell to get their thoughts on the weekend. So Zach, he's been a great on a form recently, having some really good results and some big results as well. You must be going to every game with uh, loads of confidence now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've, we've bought in, uh, bought into the systems, we're all trying really hard and it's shown on the ice. We've had a couple of big results at home and um, hopefully, yeah, Nottingham are coming in this weekend and uh, hopefully we can carry on. Yeah, we just go and play our game and see what it takes us and right now we get a good feeling and we're just trying to keep that rolling along and make sure we keep the good habits up. And for the looking ahead to this weekend as well, going against the Panthers, they've obviously had a change in their bench with Rich Strachan taking over for the rest of the season. Is that a different kind of challenge going off against a team that's had that change? Yeah, usually they come out with a bit of pushback, so we're going to have to be ready, but I think whenever you play the Nottingham Panthers or any team in this league, that you have to be ready, but I'm sure they're going to, you know, the coach has lost his job, and it's pretty sad that like any coach to lose their job, um, and it was, there should come uh, some serious pushback, I would think, so we have to be ready, but 
nothing changes for us. We have to just play our best game. When you play against any team, you don't play your best game, you're in trouble in this league. So Saturday is just one other big game and what promised to be a huge 2019 for the Glasgow clan as you look to rise up the league table and possibly add the first major trophy into the calendar. This is David Marshall for UWS News and the Bray Head Arena. Scotland continues to enjoy success in world culling. This supports the development of sport in the country. Our reporter Sonny went to a local culling club to find out more. With Scotland's current success on the world stage, curling is becoming continuously popular. We at Air Curling Club to find out more about what makes the sport so attractive to people. Uh, curling is a great sport, uh, socially inclusive, that's a good word. Uh, it's from age 80s all the way down to 8 year olds. We've got a very active junior section, very successful junior section. Uh, all the way through, as I said, we've got a couple of people in their 90s still curling. Uh, it's a sport that you can do uh, mixed. Most of the games are mixed. Uh, so uh, you can play with your wife, your partner, etc. It can. Uh, it's also. Uh, it's an Olympic sport. There are two uh, gents uh, have an Olympic competition. The ladies have an Olympic competition. There's another one just started called the mixed doubles. Curling is in a good place in Scotland right now, which is also thanks to a development started back in 2002 when air athlete Rona Martin took Olympic gold to inspire some of today's greats. Beforehand, curling was such a minority sport in Scotland, you know, you got a few wee lines in the paper. Um, whereas when we came back, when we went, we landed at Heathrow in London and the media were there, we'd go on TV and it was just crazy when we got to Glasgow as well. And there was so much interest in curling and we hadn't appreciated how our media coverage would help with the promotion of curling in the country. And Rona won the, the gold medal in 2002. That's when it really did kind of hit the map in Scotland. And, and I remember, like, I was 12 years old, I think, and I remember, <laughs> I remember, like, being allowed to stay up late and watch it. And, um, like, it was so, so exciting. And from that moment, that's when you think, like, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to be out there and I want to, to win medals like that. And I remember being at Perth Ice Rink and seeing Rona for the first time. And it, honestly, like, I was like, oh my God, there's my hero. Like, you're, you, like you, you look up to these, to these kind of superstars because they did so much for, for the sport of curling in Scotland. The profile of curling in Scotland keeps rising and the work done at local clubs promises to get even more people into the sport. This has been Sunny Willich for UWS Sports News. Presswick's at Nicholas Golf Course is the 26th oldest golf course in the world and it still continues to be an avid venue for golf fanatics in Scotland. However, the golf course is now looking to do much more for the community. Our golf correspondent Anthony Evans has more. With a new year comes new challenges for golf clubs. Here at Presswick St Nicholas, membership is still steady. I spoke to the secretary, Eddie Prentice, to see what he thinks on the future of the club. Well, you know, over the last year, our, our membership's fairly stable. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's a link course and it's it's a uh, links course and it's open all year round, we attract a lot of members. You know, we've come and it's uh, the, this course has got a good reputation as well. So we don't really have any problem getting members. Um, we get you know a fair amount of visitors every year because of who we are anyway. Um, the bulk of them are, I would say, about 90% of the members are from uh, Air Prestwick, um, Moncton. So we probably have got about 10% come from, like I said, Kilmarnock, Irvine, south side of Glasgow. We also got up with PGA Pro Gareth Harvey and discussed the history of the course. Yeah, it's a historic club. It's the 26th oldest club in the world, obviously. Old Tom Morris, who was on the walk here, founded the club um, and laid the links, uh, which is the course, out when he first came over. Um, we were, as I said, attached to Old Prestwick Golf Club and a fraction of their membership called the Mechanics decided to leave Old Prestwick and come here and start their own club here and that's how this club started. But it's a, it is an historic club when you look at the, you know, the age of it in, in itself, it was formed in 1851 and that's massive. The future looks bright here at Prestwick St Nicholas, Prestwick University. That's all from us here at UWS News. Enjoy your night.